This is Louis Cerdo here with George Fair, one of the top nutritionists and uh, coaches in all of the industry. I'm here at the Pittsburgh Pro. I'm here to ask George some of the tough questions about Big Ramy. Big Ramy was, you know, first off, everyone's wanted to know he was supposed to be New York Pro. He's not doing New York Pro anymore. Can you give us a little insight as to why? Well, what happened is, like, me and Ramy, we just connected about, I want to say, uh, six, seven weeks ago. So I didn't have enough time and uh, the guy didn't feel comfortable doing a show because he was kind of a little bit behind. I mean, we all know with the size, the cheer mass that he carries and stuff, he can do any show and still like dominate even if he's 80, 90%. But you know, in order to really give a guy like 100%, you want him to be 100%, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to cut it short and I have to respect his opinion. He don't want to do the show, I can't force him to do the show. And uh, I think next stop is going to be Brazil. The Arnold Brazil? Yes. Yeah, the Arnold Brazil. So that's that's what he decided to do. And I got to, you know what I mean? I got to agree with him. That's what he wants to do. You know? Now, a lot of people are, are wondering or asking, you know, why is Big Ramy working with George? You know, just all of a sudden, you know, Big Ramy working with George. I would think because of the language thing, it'd be a perfect match. Um, but why, why is Big Ramy working with you? Well, like you said, it the language is a big thing, you know, a big barrier because he's uh, he's not one of the best speaking English or understanding. So it was really easy. We relate a lot to a lot of stuff. Uh, he wanted to work with me a long time ago, but I have respect to other coaches, so I'm not gonna go and knock on other people's door. So they have to come to me if they want to work with me. So he mentioned a couple times. I said, listen, finish what you're doing, and then we'll go from there. And uh, you know. I'm sure he, he hired a couple people. Like I said before, I think Dennis James did good with him. You know, Dennis is my boy, my buddy. So he did wonder with him. And uh, But you know, we're all growing men. We're all growing men. Uh, we we want to choose and nobody can stop us. You know what I'm saying? The guy want to work with me. I guess he tried Chris Aceto. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he didn't he didn't like what he sent them. He didn't like what he see. And then he stopped. And I hear Chris, you know, bashing me and stuff. Well, you can bash me as much as you want, Chris. You know, I have first and second at the Arnold. Where's your guy? That's what I tell people. You know what I'm saying? I never talk about anybody. But when people see bashing you, listen, every show I'm being your guys. Why you want to talk about me? Yeah, you, you, guys, you guys have like a little, little go-between. He, I he, don't he go have nothing. You don't understand. <laughs> I respect everybody. I always, if you, if you see every, probably this is the first time I ever see anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of guy. But, you know, you get aggravated when people keep talking about you. I don't need I don't I don't need to tell people who's George Ferrer. You know what I'm saying? Let him go to the show and the results speak for itself. I have Dexter and I have Branch. That's all what I have to say. You got first and second, the oldest guys in the show. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why Rami want to work with me. You know, that could be one of the reasons. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, Big Ramy, I mean, what do you need to do with him to get him where he needs to be? Because he's, he's got the size and he's got the small little waist and he's huge. His, his legs, when I saw it, first saw his legs, I, I thought they were photoshopped. I didn't think that could be, <laughs> legs could be that big on his body. Ram, listen, Ramy is an amazing bodybuilder. Ramy, I mean, we all saw Ramy. When this kid hit his potential, he's going to be unstoppable, you know? And the reason why I say kid, because he's still under 30 years of age, he's a kid to me, you know what I'm saying? Rami is, is very, very dangerous. All what he needs, it's uh, I need to get to know his body a little more and a little more muscle maturity. It, it, a lot of people are gonna have, you know, they're not gonna be happy when he shows up. And what about the, he was supposed to come out for this Pittsburgh Pro Pose now, and I, I just heard earlier today, he's not gonna make it out. What's, what's the story with that? You know, honestly, I don't know what happened, but I think something with the tickets and stuff, and uh, you know, they, they told him that you don't have to, you don't have to bother, because they, they were having some problem with tickets. I, I really didn't get the bother. Where is he at right now? Is he out? He's in Kuwait. Okay. He's in Kuwait, you know, his family's in Kuwait and stuff. I'm gonna be going to see him in a few weeks, so. Okay, so that's the big Ramy update, eh? That's it. That's that's it. You know, there's no really no update. Uh, I wish I can show you some pictures. I might be posting some, you know, soon. But like I said, I wanted to see, you know, feel comfortable first. Make sure the guy is like really at his hundred percent when he had a show. And it's fair, you know. It's just fair. You know what I'm saying for me and him. Absolutely. Well, there you have it. Straight, straight from George's mouth about Big Ramy. Here we are at the Pittsburgh Pro. Big pose down with a lot of top Olympians tomorrow. Louis Yodo, George Farah signing off. Peace.